Hey everyone, Patrick here. Today I'm going to do another brief tutorial to demo how you can access the vertices that basically create the shapes that are in your scene. Okay, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to hop right into our scene and show you how I've changed things up a little bit. Uh, as opposed to before when we had the key light uh, on the sphere, this time around I just switched the geometry over to a simple box geometry. You can see that it's a 2x2x2 two by two by two, uh, cube. Okay. So if I go ahead and show the scene, or we're not going to look at the whole scene, we're just going to look at that cube right there. So we'll see, we'll take a look at the object and you will see within the cube there's a geometry, which we've already set. Okay, when we initiated the scene with geometry, this object, however these two are completely different right now. Um, since we just, what we need to do is actually access the geometry that's within the cube. So what we need to do now is go to cube.geometry and return that. And you'll see although these are equal, they're actually um, not the same thing. All right, so what we need to do here is come down to vertices and you'll see we have an array of eight. Okay, so if we take any of these vertices, we can actually put, we can actually move them around. You'll see this one's at one, 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 this one's at one, one, negative one. And what it essentially does is create all the faces of your geometry. So what we're going to do is take the first vertice. So we're going to go to cube.geometry.vertices. Take a look at just that array. Do the same thing. We have the array right there, but now we're just going to return the first value in that array, and it's 1, 1, 1. Okay. So what we're going to do now is do set, and we'll make it, I don't know, 2, 2, 2. Okay, so now we've set it, but you'll notice that nothing has changed within the scene. Okay, what we need to do after we've set the vertice is we need vertices needs updates, and you'll see it's set to false. However, when we update this and change that value to true, it's going to move that point around and move it out over there. However, the one thing you'll notice if I return back to uh, cube geometry vertices needs updates, you'll notice that now it's false. Okay, that's because in order to save RAM and uh, computer resources, uh, this one shuts off basically automatically after it runs once. So what you're going to need to do is constantly, if you're changing these values and moving these points around, is you're going to need this uh, to be constantly updating and checking different things. Anyways, that's it for kind of uh, pushing and pulling on vector threes. Uh, and that's what the vector three essentially it is for. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them. I hope this tutorial helps you out and helps you understand how, how the components of the geometry uh, make up the meshes themselves. Thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>